So I'll ask one final time. Are you prepared? Are you really prepared to celebrate communion? Extending forgiveness to one another says that you owe me nothing. There is no debt. And that's what God says when he says, I forgive you. There is no debt. And that's what Jesus died for. So I invite you to um, take the elements and open up the top guy here. When I hold a a wafer like this or or bread, uh, I'm reminded of the fragility of life. That life is very much a fragile thing. And uh, in Jesus' life, was broken uh, for us, was broken on our behalf. And so when we partake of the symbol of the body of Christ, we remember the price that Christ paid for our own fragility, for our own brokenness. So on the night he was portrayed, Jesus took a piece of bread and he said, eat of this, and when you do, do it in remembrance of me. Let us eat together. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you were broken on our behalf. And I invite you to take the cup and open that guy up. Hopefully not dump it all over the place. And when I hold the cup, whether it's juice or wine or, you know, whatever, I'm reminded that Christ's blood was poured out for us. That the whole of the sacrificial system of the Old Testament points to the sufficiency of Christ's sacrifice. In the Old Testament, they had to, they had to keep butchering uh, lambs and goats and bulls and, and all kinds of things because the debt had to continually be paid. But then Jesus came, the perfect sacrifice, and his blood was shed for us once and for all time. And so on the night that he was betrayed, Jesus took the cup and he said, drink, and when you do, Do it in remembrance of me. Let's share together of the cup. And you can deposit that in the little cubby thing in front of you. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the cup. I thank you for your blood that was poured out for us. That we don't require any other sacrifices you really require nothing more of us than a life turned over to you. That we give ourselves to you, that we avail ourselves of you. Thank you. Thank you for your blood. Okay. Well, why don't we uh, conclude our, our service this morning? Um, so, would you please stand with me? Today on the church calendar is Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost Sunday is significant because we use it to remember and signify the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. In the book of Acts, we have the, uh, the apostles, um, minus Judas, of course, are, are praying and, and waiting for kind of the next steps. And the Holy Spirit depend, uh, descends on them like tongues of fire. And they are commissioned then for ministry. And so instead of pronouncing a benediction over you, I would ask you to be the benediction. That you would be a people filled with the Holy Spirit, spurned toward righteousness, 
emboldened and encouraged to live out your faith and share it with those around you by word and action. Amen. Have a great week. Love you guys.